Okay, everybody. Well, welcome to part two of the donut series. In this video, we're going to do some sculpting in Maya to add some detail. Okay, everybody. Well, this is where we left off uh, in video number one, a modeling of the donut. And if we click on this guy, you'll see a couple of things. First of all, it's still fairly low poly. Second, it's a preview smooth and not an actual smooth. Because if I hit one, you'll see that it will go back to that very uh, choppy and straight edged model, right? Now, the reason why I didn't smooth this out yet is because in the last video we added an edge loop here on the uh, on the lower part of the icing to give that a harder edge, right? Now, we want to do that on the inside as well. So we're going to go into uh, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, Equal the Distance, and we're going to go in here and let's add one right in there. It's going to hug all the way around. We're going to hit Q on our keyboard, right click on Object Mode. And now if we hit three to preview smooth, you'll see that we now have a nice hard edge on the inside as well, okay? Now the thing is, like I said, it's a preview smooth, not a real smooth. So what we need to do is select our model, hit one to go back, and then we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. Now remember, once you've done this, you can't go back, right? So we're gonna go to smooth and I'm gonna close this out and we're gonna go in and set the smooth level or the subdivision level to two. All right now this should be fairly decent for sculpting purposes and now we can do exactly that all right so what do we want to sculpt here well a couple of things first of all the icing on top is way too smooth right again this is dripping chocolate or icing shouldn't be that smooth then on the sides here all that what's hanging down here these pockets they should probably have a little thicker build up right and then finally the side of the donut needs to be a bit flatter so we're going to go into our modeling menu here we're going to take the third tab that's called sculpting then almost at the end here you have a sphere with a little sphere on it and it's called the inflate brush right we're going to click on that then we're going to click on our mesh that will change the shape it now says sculpting on and we need to know about our settings so we're going to go up here and we're going to click on the second uh, menu there that's tool settings so right now, the size of my brush, which is represented by the black, cir black circle, is 0 0.2, right? The strength of my brush is 2, and the build-up value is 10. Now, that's not by coincidence. I've been testing this, and based on your model and your situation, you might need to do these higher or lower, right? Kind of depends on the size of your donut, kind of depends on the subdivision level you're using, and so forth, right? Okay, so I'm doing this with a mouse. You can do this with a stylus, but um, you probably, it's not um, logical that you all have a stylus, so I'm just gonna do it with a mouse, right? So let me just go in here and kind of touch that area there, right? And here you can see what I mean by that. So we're just adding a little bit of thickness to it, right? And we'll do that here too. And don't go overboard with that. Keep it kind of subtle. And you can make some areas thicker than others, but I think it gives just a little bit more organic feel to it because it doesn't look even everywhere. Yeah, there you go. And we'll have one build up a little bit higher here, like this. There you go, that's a bit too much. Let's hit Control Z to go back. That's why it's important to check that. And if you want to smooth that out a little bit, you hold the Shift key and you just hover over that a little bit, right? And that will bring that down a bit. So we're gonna do that here as well. That's not too bad. We'll go over it once with our shift brush. 
maybe areas here. Then let's see if we can do some very, very, very small tweaks on the inside here. Especially the uh, the areas where the, the, the icing went quite low. Like that, yeah. You don't have to do all of them. We'll do that one because it looks a little bit off. And then you can play with this to uh, work with the dough as well, right? Now, if you want to invert certain areas where you're working on this, right? Oops, let's not smooth that, hang on. What you can do is you can hold down the control key, right? So without the control key, it will build up. Let me just go back. And if you hold on the control key, you will invert that, right? So I'm just gonna go to the top here and there's certain areas where I just want to kind of make some indentations on that um, icing so it doesn't look as perfect everywhere, right? And it's kind of hard to see, so it's trial and error, but you do see it, right? So if we look over this, there you go. That's much, much, much better, right? Okay, then for the side of the donut. Now, don't go crazy on that, but what you can do is kind of flatten that out, right? So let me see which one I would want to use for that. Um, and we basically want to have a, um, I think we can actually do that with the buildup, uh, but we'll just uh, invert it, right? So I'm gonna make the brush a bit bigger. Let's try 0 0.6, that's a bit much, 0 0.4. 0.3 then yeah okay 0 0.3 is okay we want this to be quite subtle so let's do six on the build up right and then we're gonna hold down the control key let's see how that looks and I'm not sure whether I'm happy with how far that goes in It's not bad. And you don't want to do that everywhere. It's just again to make sure it doesn't look as organic, right? Now, um, that's one way to go with it. Um, I'm not 100% satisfied with the look, so let me see what else we can do here. Okay, so this guy right here build up a surface. Let's try that one, right? So I'm going to hold down the control key. Yeah, there you go. And that will make it look a lot better. It's a bit intense though. So we're gonna go back a couple of steps. Let's do 0 0.1 and then actually let's even try 0 0.05 because you wanna be very careful with how far you do that. And it's still quite strong as you can see. So let's try size is okay, strength is okay. 0.01, right? Okay. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this, right? I'm gonna hit control. Wow. Kind of do that, right? And don't be alarmed because then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in there and smooth it out to kind of cancel out that effect a little bit, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna hold on shift and I'm gonna go around. And it's okay to have it somewhat visible, but just not too much, right? And it kind of depends on what you want it to look like, but I think that looks uh, pretty organic, right? Okay, so now that we have that, that basically uh, completes the sculpting phase, right? So we did some little dents on top to make the uh, icing a little bit imperfect, right? We added some thickness to the dripping ends of the icing, and we added some imperfections to the dough of our actual donut, right? 
So yeah, that's it for that. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk sprinkles. Okay, see you guys there, bye. Thank you.